We are up and running. Looks like YouTube's up and Facebook and now Instagram. Hello, everybody. Dion here. We are back to our regular scheduled programming. My creative art retreat is over. It was the entire week of last week. I got in yesterday afternoon, late afternoon, um, and happy trick-or-treat. Happy Halloween to you and your family. Uh, Matt and I are both here. Hello. And I'm working on this piece. This is actually one that I'm doing in my Creative Connection membership. Hello, everybody. I see Instagram popping up. Um, but I am doing this in the middle of my Creative Connection membership. This was our October paint tutorial. We've got branches wrapping around. I'm creating the little magnolia tree, the little blossoms. Woo, hello. Oh, Lolly Lolly, what are you doing on Facebook? Hi, Rob. Hi, Valerie. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, she switched back. All right, Tasha is there. Hey, everybody. I enjoyed meeting Tasha so much the other day. Guys, we get to spend the week with Tasha. Hello, everybody. So what I want to do tonight, a couple things. I'm going to, we did the branches inside my membership group. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of how I did, just a little sneak peek of how I did layered the flowers. Uh, we have Tarnished Pearl by DIY, and then I used some white acrylic and then some pink. Um, and I'm also proud to show you my new acrylics, the turquoise iris acrylics. They're heavy bodied and uh, professional art acrylic. Carolyn Muncy, how are you? <laughs> oh, I missed you too, guys. We missed so many different days last week, but we're back to our normal scheduled programming with Magnolia. So uh, like I said, this is what I'm doing in my group, but I'm going to keep going a little bit and get some of that done because I missed a whole week last week. I need, I have a lot of catching up to do. On the inside, I'm gonna do mint chip behind these glass doors. I'm gonna do mint chip. I'm gonna carry the branches inside, wrap them on the inside and carry the, the uh, magnolias in there. It looked like you were having a wonderful treat. I can't even describe how wonderful it was. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for the congratulating on the acrylics. We're going to use the white tonight. We have 14, 15 colors coming out in the next few weeks. And um, I have a whole box full of them that Josie brought to me to try out while um, I'm working this week. Congratulations, everybody. Um, did I say congratulations? What I meant to say was <laughs> thank you for the congratulations. Man, I'm off my game. I just told everybody congratulations. Well, I think, no, it's well-deserved because people should be congratulated. I mean, <laughs> they just the should be works, right? on a regular basis. You should all be congratulated. All right, so I should just sneak peek at the front. I have the branches. We did this last week in my Creative Connection, and I am using Tarnish Pro. It's got a little bit of gray in it, so it's kind of making a little, a light sheer background color. And I'm using my angled brush. This is also from the uh, Iris collection. And I'm going to lay down this tarnished pearl in the magnolia blooms. And then I'm going to put the white, bright white over it and then add in just a little bit of pink. How's everybody doing? What did I miss? Tell me what I missed. Well, Matthew was so know. bored. He was so lonely. And I can't, I have, I have a story about cockroaches if anybody wants to hang out. The cockroaches. cockroaches on the beach in a house that you paid thousands of dollars for. You want to hear the story, guys? I No, everybody says no. Hello, Carrie Carter. <laughs> that was a pretty good one right there, wasn't that it? That was very nice expressive. Annette Henderson. Hello. Annette Henderson was there. Rohini. Okay, wow. That good. That's it. That's an intense, honey. I hope everybody had a great week. Mine was at the point where it was a little indescribable. I'm going to be honest with you. The cockroaches. That's right, Tasha. You know, girl. I got to meet Tasha Watkins, Annette Henderson, some of the other ladies and gentlemen on here. Not gentlemen, but uh, man, Galveston did us. We did had such a great time. The weather was couldn't have been any more perfect. We did have one thunderstorm knocking power out of some of the ladies' homes, beach houses. But um, Ooh, I got a story for you about that story. You have a story about that story? Yeah, I have some stories. Well, my cockroach story. story is the best. I don't really have any stories about that story. But that storm rolled through, right? Which in that Oklahoma? Was on, uh, in Oklahoma. No, no, down, down in the uh, Houston, Galveston area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What day was that? Was that Sunday? Or was that Monday? 
Thank you, Karen. Um, this the the storm was Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, the storm was Wednesday, babe. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I'll tell you the cockroach story, but Matt's got a story for you first. Nope, nope, that just ruined my story. Apparently, my our stories don't add up. What do you mean? Well, my dad calls and says, says, do you got to the power down there? And I said, I, I, no, I don't think so, Dad. Oh, I, I got crews heading that way. <laughs> well, it's a funny story. It was if you know my dad. Yeah, it was, but it was Wednesday that our power knocked out. Now I think you had storms here on Tuesday and maybe somewhere in between, but. Um, we ours was fine but some of our girls uh like cammy and llewellyn apparently they don't have lightning and thunder the way that we do no we do it right around the south so they were like they slept on top bunks and so they were right next to these little windows and they came down about 5 a.m decided they were going to sleep on the sofa they were going to sleep <laughs> on the sofa where closer to other people and not be up there by those windows because they were on the third floor well well, I mean, let's be honest. Sleeping on a sofa is safer. <laughs> than beside the windows on the third floor of the beach house. Well, they were pretty cute. But the first house we showed up at, guys, great. It was okay. It was on the water. It was literally on the water. Like the piers went down into the sand. We do our thing. We come back to the house getting ready to get in the shower and I start hearing screamings coming from the next floor. Screamings, screaming, screams screaming. for multiple people like that, that, that kind of screaming. <sighs> Apparently there's live cockroaches. Cockroach. All in say. the kitchen. The cockroaches. The cockroaches all in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Not cool. Okay. So alive ones, not poop. Screaming. Screaming was going on. I'm like, what is happening upstairs? Because this was also a three-story beach house. I rented the biggest one I could because we planned on getting together before the lady threw a bunch of rules in my plan. But that's okay. We had already figured out that where we were going to actually get together. Anyway, we changed a few things. No big deal. Cockroaches. Big ones. Running across the kitchen. Were they big ones? No, they were the little ones. The little beach stuff. Little ones, but we were gonna make like things in the things in the thing and things in the thing. And so I'm sending a message to the to the owners of the Airbnb and the the, the one particular person wasn't answering, but then the gentleman answered me. He goes, Yeah. Like I wasn't supposed to be surprised by the cockroaches. Well, they live in the dunes, he says. And I said, but do they live in kitchens? And he said, well, you clearly are not very familiar with what Galveston Beach is like. Well, what? I sure am. And I sent back, are you serious right now? And he said, am I serious? Question mark. And I'm starting that fuming, like, like shaking because I'm so mad at how he's treating me and being so condescending. And he says, well, we spray every, every quarter. And I said, you haven't sprayed in a long time because they're running across the living room. Cammy just killed one in the living room next to the kitchen. Like he said, yeah, cockroaches. We live $7,000 for this beach house and cockroaches should be in the kitchen with, with cockroach poop everywhere on your, on, your, on your forks and spoons. Like it's normal. I, I, I was just like, I was shaking and then everybody's upset and like, you know, we're trying to keep our cool. We're trying to figure out what to do. And then ladies are like, well, I'm not staying here. <laughs> I'm not staying here. And I'm like, all right, we're not staying here. Where are we going? So by then it was almost midnight. <sighs> He's continuing to be condescending. So the girls take pictures. I send him pictures and he says, what exactly am I looking at? Matt, mm. he was looking at live cockroaches in the drawers. And he says, what exactly am I looking at? So needless to say, that didn't go over very well either. I was trying to be professional and I really was. 
But when he started being so condescending, like this was normal part of living, being in a beach house. Who? I, so it, I never got to talk to him. He just said, if you'd like, I'll send out someone to exterminate tomorrow. So they want to send someone out to exterminate on the first day of our vacation while we're, while we're doing a retreat and spray the house. And it, like, where are we supposed to go while he does that? Oh, anybody else done that on vacation where they had a house full of house full of cockroaches on vacation and you're supposed to. Uh, Donna, Donna says if Matt was there, he would have opened up a can of whoop beep. A whoop beep. Oh man. It was hard. I was texting Matt and he's like, well, you need to do this. And I'm just like, these ladies have taken over the ladies. I was with the best group of ladies. In oh, house. I can't see if I was there. All I had to do is just sit back and enjoy the show. Oh, it, I mean, I'm, I can laugh at, at even, I can't laugh yet because it was so disgusting and upsetting, but I will laugh about it soon. I really will. Now I'm using the white acrylic over the tarnished pearl guys. I just absolutely love this look. Uh, needless to say, Cami girl, my Cami girl starts posting the videos of the cockroaches running across the drawers. She posted on Twitter tags airbnb on twitter and guess who got a reply back like this cammy collins she got a little thing and they said what's the email address to the person who owns it and she got action done like this bada bing bada bing bada bing on twitter <laughs> because the guy was being such a jerk all he said was i'll send someone out tomorrow to exterminate we were like no that's not gonna work oh i had several lolly i had several they were so, and then they weren't staying there. They were like, well, we're not staying here. And they were nice. It wasn't my fault, but I was, of course, trying to figure out what to do. So we put all the food we just bought back in containers, put all of the stuff back up that we had spread out all over the upstairs, did all these different things to pack up, and they said they'll call us. And so we, we went to bed, we went to sleep. One of us went to a hotel, but I won't say who it was. You know, we have never rented. You know what, D? We haven't either. But the guy told me, this is normal for Galveston. Just so you know, he goes, apparently you're not familiar with Galveston or beach living. And I said, I was here four weeks ago in a beach house on the beach. And I gave him the name of it and the address and said, not a damn cockroach anywhere. I was Jesus so Christ. ticked off. Oh my God. I was so Honey, ticked off. Uh, he was, and like, I'd up. never been to Galveston before. I'm like, mm, we're, we're so. live. Keep it, keep it friendly. He's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> He's an absolute idiot. He was Ooh. so condescending. Get fired so up. I am getting fired up. Just Whoa, talking about I like it. this. I like this. Be honest. Get fired up. Those women, Kenny. So I got they got Airbnb contacted me at 1 a.m. and Kenny's took the phone from me, and she's telling the woman with I well I never mind. She's telling the woman a little bit about it, and the woman's I don't know why you're so upset with me. I'm trying to help you, and Kenny's was like, "You're right. I'm just scared the cockroaches are running over my toes." The house was huge. The elevator didn't work. I mean, $7,000 for this house for the week. And we are leaving it first thing in the morning. So we we are packing up at 7 a.m. after we slept for a few hours. And we are vacating the premises. And the owner text messages me at like 8 and says, we're sending someone over to exterminate. Is it all right if they enter while if you're not there? I didn't. They were like, don't reply to him. Do not reply to him. Because all I wanted to say was, you're an absolute idiot and gross to say. We were we were a few blocks from your cockroach house, and we had no cockroaches this <laughs> Patty. Well, Rob, it's too funny. I've never seen this side of the island. Well, Rob, well, well, I've got news for you, Rob. Well, seriously, though. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to act? I have an event to put on. They already told me that all the people couldn't come over. So I already had to move the meeting venue. Like, and then my girls are freaked out and I'm super protective. So I'm like, they don't, they don't want to be here. But needless to say, 
Carolyn Muncy was down the road, literally down the road. She came over, she started helping us pack everything back up and loading everything back in the cars. She said, I'm going to the store and I'm making you breakfast. And so by 10 o'clock, that woman had breakfast for all of us in the beach house down the street. We were out of there before 11 and I text messaged the owner and said, I put the keys under the doormat. And she said, thank you with a smiley face. What? is the smiley face for. So Airbnb contacts me. We, we rented another beach house down the street and they refund me part of my money. Not all of it. They charged me for the one night plus the deposit, yada, 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 all the other things. Can you believe that? But by two or three o'clock, it was all taken care of and a retreat began at three. Okay, I need you to look at me. What? Breathe in. Breathe out. Honey, you weren't there. Breathe in. It was disgusting. And breathe out. Oh, We're all good now. Let's talk about the happy times at the retreat. Oh, man. Well, the funny, the, that was just the only funny part. I mean, it's worth, t it's worth telling. Let me turn this, you guys. You got that? You good? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love this piece so much. And I have something to show you guys. That's an awful something. party. I have something to show you guys. The ladies were champions. The whole retreat was masterful and gorgeous and beautiful and memorable. And I don't even have all the words. <laughs> Tasha Watkins said, you should have added, if the keys aren't there, it's because the roaches carried it off. Yes, Tasha. I didn't <sighs> get to meet Tasha, but I've seen some pictures. She's tall. Yeah. Matthew, she's like six feet tall. I would have dunked on her, though. You would have dunked on yeah. her. I know she'd have dunked on you, even bro. She's taller than me. I would have given her the no. Michael Jordan fake out and boom. No, but here's the deal. She doesn't play basketball. She told me. She's a dancer. She's yeah. She said she did sure. more dancing, but she um Tasha Watkins is six feet tall, ladies and gentlemen, and beautiful, poised, loving. Ah. Uh, Matt would have scared him. Aga was there. I love meeting Aga. She's such a gem. Made me laugh. Made me. Made everybody laugh, Matthew. You would have loved her. I know. The I retreat was amazing. Gone, but, uh, hey, I just, you know, had to hold the fort down. There's some things I had to get done with my work. And, yeah. You know how it is sometimes. Gorgeous Tasha Watkins. Absolutely. I am so in love with this piece. Thank you, Katrina. I totally relate. Nothing wrong with your story or your indignation. I, Janae, I just, I, I was really surprised. You'd be dunking and I'd be doing high kick dances. She, <laughs> she, she, yeah, I'd be dribbling around her and she'd kick the ball away. Yeah, she, she took your inches, Lolly, because Lolly's like five feet tall. Yes. And Tasha's like six feet tall. That would be a wonderful picture. <laughs> Oh, she's so good. She was so good. She's, everybody was it, it. 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 I hope that everybody gets an opportunity to experience something like that. And something so. So rewarding and loving and powerful. You know what is what is fun and what I love to see is when um, you know you you make friends with these with women on not me in particular but people on here they make friends right they cross oh, talk they, and then they finally meet up and meet each other in person. Oh, it's. That's yes, big league. it yep. is. It's That's the really best. Cool. That's really neat. Yep. It's really neat. These ladies meet each other and they feel like they've known each other their entire life. Yeah, they just go have a glass of wine together like like just nothing. You know? Walking on the beach. They were walking on the beach in the morning and painting together and walking through Galveston together. And just, it's, I, I just filled my cup, babe. We danced on the beach. We sang songs. It was, it was. Well, as I told them, they make me want to be better. They make me want to be a better person. <laughs> Lolly says, uh, yeah, grace and beauty next to me. Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Lolly, Lolly, turkey. Mm. You would have loved Tasha. She is an absolute gem. So beautiful. You have lots of wonderful women there. 
Oh. Yep. Our, our speakers, Cami did such a beautiful job and Llewellyn painted and she debuted her new paint from Daydream Apothecary and um, Debbie and Josie and Michelle Sells. How, how, uh, I heard uh, a lot of good feedback on Michelle Sells. If you guys don't know Michelle, she oh. is, she's quite the funny lady. She does. She uses words like um, stellar. She, she uses words like stellar. She's quite creative. And she's creative, to say the least. She's our puppet maker, you guys. If you don't, you need to check her out. She's quite, she, she does lives from time to time. And they're, they're quite interesting. Such a good storyteller. Nothing like I've ever done, but I'm already planning the next one, ladies. I have two, I mean, on the way home, I had two ideas and I was like, Michelle, listen. I've got this idea. She said, do it. <laughs> so I'm just still making the magnolia blossoms, guys. If you're just popping on, I'm using Tarnish Pearl from DIY and using some just kind of shadow soft petals. And then I'm putting a brighter white acrylic over the top. I also ended up getting the biggest zit on my face that I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. So it could Michelle? have been a sign of stress because Michelle said at night, because we had to share a bed, Michelle said the zit was talking to her at night. Like it was that bad. <laughs> She's real sweet and sensitive like that. <laughs> Precious friend of mine. Uh, the retreat wouldn't have happened without Michelle, though. She works her butt off the whole time. The whole time. Well, but our... our next thing is december we're going to december spartanburg in december uh we have 14 tickets left guys so we've sold 36 tickets we have 14 left if you want to come to spartanburg december 3rd and 4 or december 4th for a paint workshop join us you can get tickets on my website right now i know we sold the several to the ladies that were there the other day matt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay now i'm going to switch over to my white acrylic this is from the turquoise iris art collection so excited to be using them. And Matthew, mm -hmm. we have to show them something that's on the floor over here, don't what we? What am I going to show them? My prints. Oh. I launched something today on my website, you guys. So, I mean, for years, people have asked me for prints, affordable prints. And I have some. They launched on my website, and I'm going to show them to you. Michelle is trick-or-treating with her family tonight. Her five grandkids are all dressed up like goblins and ghouls. But. Oh, did you tell them we have a Halloween song for them tonight? A Halloween song. Have all right, you just popped Halloween. on. Turquoise Iris, heavy body, professional grade acrylic. Mm. How about a treat in Heart, Hot Springs, Arkansas? Donna, I'm thinking about it, really. I'm thinking about Missouri, Arkansas area. For real. I am. Um, I see you guys over here on Instagram. We're going to put some pink down in here. Did anybody go in a costume this week, today, yesterday? If so, what were you? What did you dress up as? I didn't dress up, honey. No, our kids had Halloween things. I, I, yes, our son went to several Halloween parties. He was, he, what was he? He was a pilot, you know, kind of like... Uh, oh, but you know what? I thought he was a captain. A pilot? I thought he was a captain of like a, a ship. ship. No. Yeah. Was more, I think it was more of a fighter pilot, wasn't it? Or was it a, was No, it he was captain. captain. Oh, he was. That's this right. This guy, you know, because he was a captain. She, that's right, because she was a mermaid. I was going to ask you, what was Madison? She was a mermaid. I didn't know what that looked like. Yes. She looked beautiful, but I wasn't quite sure what her what her costume was. She looked beautiful. Matt was Elvis one year in a costume. We also went as thing one and thing two. Betty said she was an old woman, no makeup or special effects required. <laughs> Betty. Come on, Betty. You. 
Uh, Janae would like to see a retreat in Brentwood, California, summer of 2022. She's putting in a request, isn't she, baby? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay. Now, for the, I'm going to let that set up for a second. We're going to add in the pink inside some of those magnolias. But the first print is going to come in a 16 by 20, and they're on my website right now. So you're still they're in the prints. Heavy, yeah, we picked four of my most popular images. They're heavy cardstock, printed so beautifully, 16 by 20. Aren't they beautiful? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, Rob's saying sure. What's he saying sure to? Uh, just a comment about. Oh, oh. And then this one is also 16 by 20. And then two more of them. Just the kaleidoscope. The printed so beautifully and the colors are so intense. I'm super happy, Mike. Uh, what is your website, hun? The turquoisiris.com. They're under artwork. They're 37 and 57, and they will drop ship to you directly from our printer. Yeah. Today says, Karen, store in Brentwood, please come on. Oh, right? Karen, Karen would, yeah. trust me, Karen would love that. I would love to go see Karen. But I'm not going to do a retreat in California. No offense, but it's the cost of things. I have to keep the cost of things down um, it's because of travel, um, because of the flights. I have to keep it down so it won't be in California. California. Just saying. Not that I wouldn't want to. I, I like going there and doing workshops with Debbie and such, but Maybe we, we won't do a retreat there. Just do a workshop. We can go to Karen's and do a workshop, but not a whole week stay. That's just, it's really expensive. Texas is, was perfect because uh, the price was not too high. So when the, you, when the you, last two have been in Texas. One was Waco. And then the this one was down in uh, Gal the Galveston area, which was beautiful this time of year. So I'm just dabbing in a little bit of pink, you guys, into the center. Um, and Nancy would like want to know Florida? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Possibly. I'm thinking that maybe in the future. We we I don't know about a workshop, but I have to be able to drive there because I have my car loaded up to the top with canvases because everybody gets uh -huh. to paint. Uh -huh. She I, I thought we were talking about retreats. Are we not? I don't know. Are we talking about I thought she was talking about just coming to visit? Oh, we are coming out. to Florida sometime for a workshop. Yeah, maybe hunt some gators or something. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Some of the some our retailers, we have a bunch of retailers in Florida, and I like to come and we can go to their shop. And Do they have gator fishing? Sweetie? I don't know. I don't know. Can you can you fish for gators? Why why would you? I don't I didn't know. It sounds fun. I don't think you would like it. I think you would be too scared. You're kind of scaredy cat. I know they do that in Louisiana. They get them big, they get them big gated down there. I am just dabbing in some accent. of this pink in here. That's a big old gated down there. And inside, I'm excited to get going with the inside. I'm going to put mint chip and continue these flowers in there. All right, let me shift it over to the other side. Iris Fern says that you can. You can? You can, you can, you can. In Louisiana. Well, why, 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 why are there she just wants two? To come on down. Oh, for sure. We have so many places we want to go. We want to go see everybody. <laughs> Rob, I'm not going noodling. I'm not going noodling in Louisiana. Or the Florida Swamp. You can go noodling in Oklahoma. They got some really good noodling here. I'll just do that around here. But I'm not. But noodling. you're not doing it. I'm not going to stick my arm in a hole in Louisiana or Florida. <laughs> he doesn't think you're that bright, does he, Woodsy? I think Rob. I think Rob. Rob and I are, you know, kind of the same wavelength. I think. <laughs> You guys are amazing. All right, I missed you guys so much last week. Rob, Thursday, finger painting group, 11 o'clock. Is that correct? Honey? Yes, baby. Yes. 11 o'clock. I'm there. 
We'll see, Rob. We'll I, see if he does on, have this. It's on my list of things. I'm, I have a plan, and I'll be honest with you, I'm, a, I'm kind of been inching to get my, my fingers dirty a little bit. Just All right, we'll see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. We'll see, guys. Uh, Cheryl, noodling is a type of fishing that you do without a rod or reel or bait or a hook. What you do is you um, you fill around with your feet or your hands under the water on the floor or in the side of a bluff and rocks, and you find a hole and you stick either your foot or your hand in there to see if a fish bites it, and if they bite it, you grab it and pull it out. That is Oklahoma fishing. <laughs> your hand is the bait. That's right. Hand is the bait. They have TV shows about that, you know. Yes, they do. We, we have a huge tournament. We have a noodling tournament here in Oklahoma every year. It's big. People from all over come around and do that. And it's really, it's... I've done it once. What? I know I will never do it again. I don't know where I was because I wasn't near you. No, you weren't. You know, we were at a lake. Where, 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 where was and I? So I was with a buddy. We were, we were, he, we went to a spot, right? A spot where he knows that they're at, correct? Right? Because this is what he loves to do. And it's, it's not like warm out. It's kind of cold. But anyway, we're waiting in this water by this boat dock. And this boat dock has a bunch of rocks around it. And they get in there and they make holes. It's the first time I've heard this story. So long story short, he, he goes, he goes, I'll go down there. He goes, you got to hold your breath and go in the water. He goes, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to check it out. If I feel him, I'll, co I'll cover the hole and I'll come up and let you go down and do it. And you I were going to go under the water? Yeah, sometimes you have to go under the water. Like swim breath. in our lake. Like hold your breath, go under So you. dumb. So long story short, there was one in there. He comes up. He goes, all right, just follow my foot all the way down, or my leg all the way down my foot, and I'll move my foot, and then stick your hand in there, and you'll bite it. <laughs> You're talking funny. And Well, it's, I'm talking like how he talks. But anyway, <laughs> so I'm sitting there thinking to myself, this is really dumb, but I've got to do it now. I'm committed, right? You are you, though? You are. You're kind of committed. Are you? Okay. You, you are. So I did it, and it wasn't very big. It was maybe like a four, four pound. It was pretty small. You pulled the fish out. Well, it bit my hand. Like you it, let it bite you, it and then bites, you pull it? It bites your fingers or your hand because how big the fish is. Oh, my God. And once it, once it bites you, then you grab it and then pull it out. That's so dumb. And then what do you do with it, Matt? You bring it up and hoot and holler and just, woohoo, got a fish. And you shake it around and then you let it back in the water. That's what you do. Mm. Goodness gracious. You do that in North Carolina and you're going to come up with a snapping turtle or a water mark. Exactly. Yeah. That's his Oklahoma accent. Matt can't finger paint because it shaved his finger when he was noodling. It wasn't very big. But no, is Irma having a hard time? Irma okay? Right, Tasha. Three days in the hospital. Uh-oh. Irma, what happened? I hope you're feeling better, sister. Oh, she was over-medicated. Oh, my. So this piece is completely totally covered but what i want to do is i'm going to show you the inside you guys i'm going to finish it inside my membership group where i started it but i'm so excited to get it done and since i've been gone all week so inside i put one coat of mint chip and i'm going to carry the carry oh i'm going to care i saw it on instagram <laughs> i'm going to carry those branches up and have a couple of them inside that lighter green. And then I'm gonna put a few little magnolias. I know that it's covered up heavily and very well like painted, but I want it to look like it's wrapped with like wallpaper with a, like a, and I may even do a bird or two, like a chinoiserie type um, print. Oh, hi Cheryl, I really miss you too. Thank you for saying that. I am trying to plan something for March. Paint Pixie says something about for Tasha. 
Mint chip on the inside. Yes, Lolly. I am. I am. I'm going to get that in there and let that just glow. And then we'll take this paper off. It's glass in there. I added the copper to the hardware, which I, I think was a really nice touch. Really helped it pop. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of the copper and highlight each and every one of the magnolia blossoms as well. Um, the white and the pink are from my line of um, turquoise iris. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And the prints that I showed you are currently available on my website. Uh, they are limited before we change them out and get new prints on there. Matthew, did you have a Halloween song? I thought we were going to sing the Halloween song. You want me to sing it with you? Of course. Okay. And what does that song sound like? Hey. Happy birthday or happy Halloween, like that? Are you ready? Am I ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, he says. I'm ready if you're ready. Okay. You don't look very ready. You look a little nervous. I kind of want to, I am a little nervous about. You look a little um, nervous. I'm a little, um, where, where are they going? Where are they going? I want to go. Um, okay, I'm a little nervous about the song, but it's okay. It's I'm a little nervous. Too. It's not the first time I've been nervous when you sing. I'm a, I'm a little nervous for you, to be honest. Are you? Yeah. It's quite, it, it's a little bit of a complicated song. There's a lot of, uh, there's each, there's some low notes, some, some baritone notes, and there's some falsetto notes that you might not be able to hit. That I might not be able to handle? I'm not sure if you're going to be able to handle it. Okay, well, I'll follow your lead if you want to get it started. Sorry, I had to get my copper. And Lisa Dixon wanted to make sure to tell you, just make sure your timing is on point this time, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you, Lisa. I'm, I'm gonna, I've been working on it, sister. We've been practicing, and it's funny that you say that, because we've had some, some sessions, really had to work on that. Um, she's getting better, guys. She is practicing hard. I'm practicing hard. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Are you gonna paint the doors too? The doors? I'm gonna paint all of it, Matt Woods. Don't awesome. criticize me. Happy Halloween oh. to you. Happy Halloween to you. Happy Halloween. Happy to Halloween you. to you. Happy Halloween. So slow. Dear Happy Halloween to you, everyone. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween to you. You are Sweetheart, awful. you are terrible. I cannot believe that, you drugged When you're this. doing Happy Halloween, it should be like Peppy and Perky. Happy Halloween to you. That's Christmas. That's Christmas. Halloween is spooky. You gotta drag it out like ooh. I don't I don't do spook. Ugh. I don't do spook. Mm. Mm. Hmm. But thank you, honey. That was that was memorable. Mm. So I'm just highlighting a little bit of these magnolias in here with this copper and just kind of adding a little bit of definition. I'm going to do that all over this piece. I'm hoping to have this done in the next couple of days <laughs> in between getting caught up from being gone. But I'm going to get that second coat of mint chip up in there. The, the, this combination space is... Monet's garden with just a little bit of black added, and I took it down to this deep green color, which I love so much. The branches are about six or seven different shades. Um, the copper's on the hardware. There's three different colors on the blooms. Inside is magnolia or a mint chip. Um, it's just, it's just such a gorgeous piece of furniture. And I just want to stay in here all night and get it finished. We did not have one trick-or-treater, Patty. Not one not in this one. neighborhood. Jasmine, honey, how are you? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So I want it to look like the wallpaper's just been like wrapped around it, but it's not wallpaper, it's hand painted. So it's going all the way inside, all the way outside, just like the blue one that I did that I named Dreamweaver. And um, I think on that note, we're gonna have to go. I have so much work to do to catch up. I'm live every single day, either in a group, bunch of coaching calls to catch up on and I couldn't be more excited about the week ahead. We are starting November 1st tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Michelle Breedlove Sells on here. Tonight. Michelle! Michelle is on. We were talking about you a minute ago, sister. We were, we were, we were. I'm so glad that you said hello, Michelle. 
Love you, you guys. She was dynamite last week. Irma, thank you, Karen. Love so, you, Delisa. Delisa Dixon. She's killing it. She's doing great. She's killing it. I told you I got on a few of her lives. Yep, you said you watched a few of them. Yeah. While I was gone. While you were gone. He was missing his people. Yeah, I'd get on there and, and see what was up, what's happening. She had two guests on. I can't remember who they were. That's my bad. Should remember. I if don't. you're on here and you were a guest and Matt doesn't remember you, I apologize. Yeah, big apology. Man. Big apology for Matt. Well, to, to, to you know, help myself here, I was making dinner while it was going on. Did you cook dinner for just you? Yes. Aw. It was lonely. It was lonely. Were you lonely without me? It was so lonely. I was going to bed at like 9.30, 10. I was like so bored. Well, you at least you got caught up on your sleep while I, I was did, out of um, town. That I did get caught up on my sleep. Because I keep him up until like midnight while I'm on my phone. Or at least waiting on the boys to get home, depending on what night of the week it is. So I'm just touching each each blossom with a little bit of the copper. To add Pam Dudley, cheese. that's right. Pam Dudley was Pam on. Was on. Yes, She's I was on the Pam. podcast this Thursday. Yes, she is. She is on the podcast this Thursday. Guys, lots of good podcasts. If you, have, you need to get caught up, if you haven't heard it, some really good ones. We are almost at 30,000 downloads. It is, we are growing that, fast. I'm telling you what, got some really good podcasts coming out. I, we need to, you know what we need to do? We need to get Michelle. Michelle. Uh, which one? Michelle Crazy Lady Puppet. Michelle Crazy Lady Puppet. Michelle Sells. Yep. Yeah. We and we need to have a play date with Lil Iris. Well, we I talked about that with her, and I'm thinking Gus needs to come over too. We could do that. We could Gus, have a play date. We have the puppets side by side on the screen, and just have Lil Miss Iris and Gus talking on the wow. Yeah, and we may have to put an, uh, a PG 13 rating on it. Well, that sounds terrible. It's not terrible because you. That's not necessary. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, Michelle, you gotta, you gotta, gotta be careful. <laughs> I don't know if she's on here. I'm giving her a hard time. Thank you, Kathy Nelson, for listening. I appreciate you. A lot goes into them, that's for sure. It's, a, it's nice for you to say that. I appreciate you. Uh, Katrina would like to get a close up to flowers if you could, please. Sure. Uh, can Iris and Gus paint? Um, I know, I know, little Iris can. Gus, who's or, got who's saying that? Yes, Delisa. Delisa. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the Gus Meister. I don't know. I don't know if he can paint. I'm either. not sure if he's a if he can paint. He might be able to. He's pretty young. He's only a, he's only a, a kindergartner, but I mean he can, but. Um, Gus and Iris would be quite a show. Gus is, belongs to my sister-in-law and brother. <laughs> All right, so I will bring you in closer. I'm just, like I said, I'm touching each one of these with a little bit of the copper, helping them pop off here. I'm going to end up putting clear wax over it, but I've got to get the inside of that. That mint chip, bring the branches up oh, and have a chinoiserie wow. pattern. Wow. I bet. I think you're right, Lolly. Lolly? Dropping them. Wow. Like it's Lolly. hot. Have you seen Mr. Matt Pink? Tonga's here too. I know, Tonga. Here's some close ups of the flowers that she asked to see. So be finishing this up in my group. I started it in my group, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of what we're working on. We do a paint tutorial in there every month on canvas. And actually that painting already sold and is in another room or I would show it to you. Thank you, Kim. I don't think it's quite done yet. I still need a little bit of details. I've never painted Magnolia Blossoms before. Thank you, Janae. I wanted it dramatic. I wanted it to have that wrapped look of what wallpaper can do so i hope you guys enjoyed that if you have any questions about the prints available or my new paints that are going to be coming out in the next couple of weeks um i'll have this one done in the next couple of days and get it on the staging wall and get it up for you guys to see 
Um, beautiful beyond the flowers are so pretty. Patty, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, again, we had 14 tickets left for the workshop in um, Green. No. I fly into Greenville. Spartanburg. Spartanburg, South Carolina is where the workshop is, December 4th. There's still some tickets available. And if you need anything or have any questions, let me know. Thank you, Instagram, for being here. I appreciate you. And you guys, tomorrow's Monday. You get to start off your day, November 1st, with the attitudes that you choose to have, right? Amen. Yes. And I don't know about you, but after a week of fellowship, kindness, my heart is so full and I just, I have so much work to do, but instead of going into my Monday dreading it, I am going in fired up like this. <laughs> Let's go. Attitude is everything. Pick a good one. That's right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you soon. See ya. Bye guys. You guys have a great Monday.